For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's going on guys? It's the Sabro Final 4 with a TCG match as always, or as usual at least. I make other videos too, but apparently matches is what I'm supposed to do on this channel. I'm using Rory Moon Turbo once again, another pre-established deck I've used quite a bit on the channel. I've used a bunch of stuff a lot from um, Paradox. Well, I think, no, this is uh, from Temporal Forces, I believe. But yeah, I used a bunch of stuff from Temporal Forces too. It's a pretty good set. Uh, much better than Twilight Masquerade, in my opinion at least, in terms of broken stuff. Uh, I guess, I guess Ogre Pond carries Twilight Masquerade on its own, and maybe as a power card, it's better on its own compared to other stuff from Temporal Forces. But anyway, at the end of the day, you can't build a deck with just one card. Now, I open up with Ms. Magius, which might not, isn't actually that bad. Um, if we can't get the moon, we can just maybe negate some stuff and slow this guy down as we set up the Roaring Moon. And uh, looks like that's what's gonna happen. This guy opened up with the Confis, and yeah, he's pretty unhappy about this. I understand, but what can you do, man? I mean, this is just part of uh, the game. I mean, that's what Ms. Mages does. It doesn't cover it doesn't cover that much ground, just the active, and I gotta be active too. But it should pose as a decent little wall while I set up. Um. What else? I mean, I got the Ultra Ball, I got the Capsule, I think I got a decent enough start. This guy's getting a bunch of stuff down too. I mean, the Confi matchup, is this going to be like Giratina V-Star? Um, whatever it is, but the Confi sort of Lost Zone deck matchup with Rory Moon, I've played before too. It should usually be okay, because you're good against Sableye, you don't care about Greninja. I mean... Giratina, we don't care about that either. It's just as long as I set up, I should be good. So Eono, and I decided to put the other capsule in Ms. Magius too, make it more difficult for him to kill that. Maybe he's gonna try and kill it quickly with Cramorant, and uh, this way I can take a, an additional hit. As long as Ms. Magius is active, I'm good. You know, he can't use Confi, and that certainly slows him down quite a bit. Going to get, well, I'll get Greninja or I'll get, I'll get the other Rover Moon. Now maybe that's bad, but I want to put the capsule on. And uh, we're just going to sort of uh, gamble our way into a supporter. I think I'm going to draw something eventually. What if I just get a kill next turn? I'll start seeing stuff. Is that going to be wise or is it going to be hasty? Yeah, as long as Ms. Mages is active though, he can't use the Kofi, so he can't do what he wants to do. Concealed cards, gonna draw with Greninja, discard those energies. Chorus Experiment. Card that's pretty much synonymous with this deck. Uh, other decks use it too, I've seen, but it's pretty much the main engine piece for this deck besides the Kofi. So you got a big ass hand. I want to Eono that too. And uh, do what you have to do. Lost vacuum. It's kind of annoying. So it's going to get rid of one of my capsules. It's not going to go into the discard pile. That's the annoying part. So the one of them is Magius. Not surprised to see that. Can he actually kill me though? Like, does he have uh, enough crap? to attack with a Cramorant. Okay, discarded the Ursaluna and uh, got the other two items. Yeah, I don't really got much in my grave still. Um, dude, oh, another lost vacuum. Running a second one too. So, discarding my precious capsule again. Damn, that's the second one in the Lost Zone. Now, I guess, I mean, against the Confi deck, 
depending on what he's running, I'm probably not going to need too many cards in the disco pile to one-shot his guys anyway. Uh, but it still kind of makes me unhappy. I want those in the disco pile. So another moon. I guess I got all of those dudes down. Um, I'm going to retreat. I think this might be... Yeah, too hasty. Just He's going to be able to use his abilities now and has a lot of cards in hand. Plus, I don't really have anything else powered up. If this moon dies, I will need Sada to respond. So, yeah, I could have just... But, I mean, that it's just appealing to get that first prize, get the immediate lead. Um... You sort of see that opportunity. You, you don't want to let it slide. You never know what can happen. But, I mean, from the way I see it, he's running a bunch of stuff. I don't think there's going to be Giratina in here. I've seen the Ursaluna. I've seen the Tyranodar, Iron Thorn, whatever that thing is. The new phrase name. Tyranodar, Cyborg from the future. He does have the Sableye. That's usually always the case. And same for Cramorant. But I don't care too much about these guys. I just want the Salamence to live. As long as I can live and I can make another attack. So I can put in energy and have room to breathe in terms of energies. Oh my guys, that's good. Until we start seeing Sadas and Dark Patches. Ten cards in hand, another Confi down. Yeah, he's just going right now. And uh, I think it was a stupid idea of me to just attack immediately. But it just makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. I know that in Gen 3, you know, you're not supposed to always get the KO as soon as you see it if you don't have other Pokemon or just a good setup to go because they can just use the scramble energy depending on their deck and you get punished. But this ain't Gen 3, really. And uh, this isn't really the situation here, although it looks like I am going to be punished. He played down the dude... Iron Hands is going for that Super Rod. And I'm suspecting, yeah, Mirage Gate, he's going to go for it. He just needs one manual now. And that's unfortunate. We get really punished here. I could have actually survived if I had the tool on, but I don't even have the tool. I lost my tools and I retreated the Mismagius. So this, this sucks. Uh, if I don't top deck Sada... I basically can't attack, so it pretty much negates the speedy start I got. Quite unfortunate, I gotta say. So Ultra Ball, that's, this isn't really something I can utilize now. I mean, I can get rid of the stuff in hand that I don't need, but... <sighs> get the Greninja, I guess I gotta risk it. This is a target for hands. But I gotta do this to try and draw two. Of course, I'm not gonna see the Sada. So, I guess all we can do is go for Iono now. Sucks ass, man. Yeah, I got I got punished for my rash play there. So, now that we use the supporter, it doesn't matter what I draw. I can't use Sada. And... I won't be able to attack this turn, giving this guy a lot of advantage. I'm gonna use the Vessel, gather the Darkness Energies, and essentially, just gotta hope we can maybe get a one hit KO next turn. Am I gonna discard enough stuff by then? It's a good question. It's little things, that, it's little things like this that make the difference, you know? I normally wouldn't have trouble against this deck using Roaring Moon, but you make misplays like the one I did, or just risk it. It could have worked out. I mean, if I drew Sada, then it wouldn't have mattered, but because I didn't have the Sada and didn't draw it, it mattered. Oh my god, and this guy uses the third? How many of these fucking cards are you running? The third lost vacuum, getting rid of my tool, I'm gonna lose the darkness energy and my attacker arm press. It's pretty fucking annoying. 
Okay, nest ball. I don't have another moon. Great. So are we gonna get the damn EX? I wonder if this is a good idea. I really do. I think I'm probably gonna have to get nobody. It was either gonna be nobody or Among Us. And I guess I'll put the other energy on the Mismagius. Just something to retreat because uh, we're not gonna be able to do shit. So go for the vessel. Discard the Brute Bonnet. And um, what else? I mean, I'm doing 170, that's still not gonna be enough. Using the Greninja. Dark Patch, yeah, but I don't have a moon, do I? On the bench. I mean, we, we can't, can't do shit but attack. Even if I use the stadium to just try my luck, uh, we're not getting the one hit KO. Even if I discarded three like ancient cards, that's just 200 damage. <sighs> this is not gone as planned, but I guess if he insists on using the dude, I can maybe get the finishing touch with him as Magius. That's about it. Or you can just retreat, I don't know. But I really just messed up. Uh, and I didn't didn't get lucky top taking what I needed. I mean, at the end of the day, I've lost like three capsules, so there's one left in the deck. Um, it's going to be easy for him to get those one shots now. I mean, 140 HP isn't very good if he can do 160. Uh, the other guys, we probably don't care, but as long as the hands attacks... Gets the one shot. Damn, damn, damn. This is a long ass game, too. So he's going for a Mirage Gate and just put a Psychic Energy on the Greninja. Is the Greninja gonna be even good? I guess he can kill the Ms. Magius, but that's about it. He's gonna switch onto the Kofi and try and dig for more. He's almost decked out, too. I mean, Better be careful, player. I mean, these decks carry a lot of recovery cards like Super Rod, so I don't think he's stupid enough to deck out just like this. But, um... I gotta make sure I can just kill him. So Moon is out. Very, very sad. And... I definitely need something now. I need the Sada too. Or I guess... Let's try our luck with the Miriam. <sighs> Do I get... Do I get the third one? He only needs to get three prizes, so no. I'm just gonna do two. And... I'm gonna hope that's enough. I'm discarding the... I'm keeping the uh, EX. So... We might use that once we get down to one prize. It makes sense. So... The energy I put on the Miss Mage just sort of works out at least this way. I can retreat and make an attack with Moon. Killing this threat, finally. And now I'm going to be at even prizes, but I hope he can't really retaliate back. Um, I think at this point, everything he plays down, I can easily one-shot. Um, if he plays another EX, maybe not, but I think we'll get there. Let's see, I get Dark Patch and Nest Ball, good stuff. The Sableye could get a little bit dangerous. When I don't have the capsule. What are you gonna do? Super Rod. Oh man, I'm really tired.
psychic energy on the sable eye makes sense. Yeah, I really don't know why he put that on the Greninja. I don't think at this point you can attack with this guy, right? He used a bunch of uh, Mirage Gates too. Like, I think at least three, if I'm not mistaken. So, what's up? Buddy, buddy, Pofin. There's nothing really to grab. Yeah, I think he's preparing. Maybe he's thinking Eonos are going to start dropping. So make sure he can thin his deck out of useless cards so he draws what he needs. Use the comfy and then just keep applying the pressure. I think what he's going to may try to do is get a kill with the Sable Eye. I believe he did recover the Iron Hands. Put a bunch of energies on it and then go for the... Go for like a boss's orders, amp you very much, and then kill the Greninja. This makes sense. I mean, he played it down. I am going to have to be careful. What I can do, though, is kill this thing, kill the Sableye, and then power up the EX. Go for a Frenzied Gaugen on the Iron Hands, and it's going to work out perfectly. So he is targeting down the Mismagius and putting damage counters on the Greninja too. He didn't even bother doing anything on the hands. Um, okay. And a top deck research, not really what I want to see here. I do like 360, so that's 180. You know what, if I could get enough pieces, I would use the boss's orders to kill the hands. But I really just won't. I'm going to try Pokestop. But is that really going to matter? Probably not. I'm going to do it. And uh, we just discarded our last capsule. And that's just really sad. But I mean, I should have seen it coming. That was a dumbass move. I guess I did see the uh, Sada bitch with the trekking shoes we got from the stop. But... Um, I guess that'll work out, maybe. But I'm, I'm just gonna do Eono anyway, so... Never mind, I guess. Anyway, the point is, I think no matter what, I'm gonna have to power up the EX. I'm gonna kill the Sableye. I just hope the Eono at least hindered him a little bit. I'm gonna get the Darkness, because uh, we gotta get manual attachments too here. And it's pretty dangerous. I hope he can't make anything happen. If he can't, I think I got this in the bag still. Because all I got to do is just use Sada, power up the X. I'm going to have the other moon powered up. He still needs to get two prizes. If I see the boss's orders, this also works out too. I can just uh, use the cards in hand. How much damage am I going to be at? I don't know. But close to just killing the hands too in one shot. So of course he's going to use the Comfy. He's using Poke Gear. I don't want to see boss's orders. Boss's orders in Mirage Gate would probably mean a loss for me. So he got the Chorus and didn't do anything else. And I'm going to use Sada. Power up my dudes. Interesting, interesting. Do I use the vessel? I mean, I got another Sada. I'm going to do it. Discard the research because we're not playing that anyway. Get my manual. I'll put it on the Greninja just in case he decides to get my ass stuck. Because we're probably using the Vitality next turn again. I'm going to be close to taking out though. But I'm doing 210. So if he, can't, if he still can't win next turn, I'm basically going to win. So I think I'm good. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I don't even think I'm going to need to bother with playing Sada. I just got to use the vessel to discredit Sada. And we're golden. So he promoted the hands. He has to do it. I mean, 
I don't know how many switches he has left if he promoted the comfy, what he was going to do. He goes for a manual attachment and goes for Cora's experiment. So at this point, he can't like pull no matter what, unless he's running like a random counter catcher. So I think I'm safe no matter what. And then even if he gets a prize, I can just kill him next turn regardless. Either with Moon or just Moon EX even. So Chorus, there's not too many cards in the deck. I mean, you should be able to see what you need at this point. You reveal 5 out of 7, get the stuff you need. And, I mean, you don't even have, like, cards in the deck to use Mirage Gate. So, like, I think I should be good. I think he just ran out of gas. He's going for the counter catcher. I almost forgot about that too. Yeah, that's another way to just fuck me up. But... You know, it doesn't really look like that hand is going to be able to get that attack, make it happen. I mean, just zero cards left in the deck, so if he doesn't win... Okay, and he scoops. Okay, that's GG for me. Kind of close due to my misplay, but we still got the victory. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What I... Yeah.